isang lalawigan kung saan mayroong anti-discrimination ordinance. May I cite? Ordinance 200 of the Provincial Government of Cavite, which is an anti-discrimination bill based on sexual orientation and gender identity and expression. Kung saan nakasaad, hindi mo pwedeng i-discriminate ang mga tao sa kadahilanan ng kanilang sexual orientation and gender identity and expression. Sa madalit salita, hindi nyo pwedeng i-discriminate ang isang tao, whether si Misas, o kung sinong Juan, o Maria, o Pedro, sa kadahilanang sila ay may kakaibang sexual orientation and gender identity and expression. You have violated a provincial ordinance which was penned by Congressman-elect Jolo Revilla. Maraming salamat, Congressman-elect Jolo Revilla, for fighting for that bill. Sa, sa puntong ito, nais kong manawagan kay Governor Remulia. Please, Governor Remulia, do not allow discrimination to occur in your province. Do not. You have an ordinance to uphold and to implement. Kasuhan niyo po yung mga Church of God na yan. Alam mo, mabait na lang si Ms. Sase. Ito sa totoo lang. Dahil I was reading her post. Pasensya na po, naiiyak ako. I was reading her post and she was very forgiving, very reconciliatory. But the law is the law. At mayroon pong batas dyan sa Cavite laban sa diskriminasyon. At hindi dahil sinasight nyo ang pangalan ng Diyos, ay pwede nyo gawin ko anong gusto ninyo. We are a nation of laws. And we have to follow the laws. The law has to be implemented equally. Kaya nga lang, syempre itong ordinance na to is only good for Cavite and to the other provinces kung saan merong anti-discrimination ordinances as well as cities and municipalities. To cite a few, we have Quezon City, we have San Fernando City and La Union, and I also know that in our province, we also have an anti-discrimination ordinance which was authored by Bukal Jo Margaza. Maraming salamat, Bukal Jo Margaza. At maraming iba. Pero, this begs the question, no? Paano na lang kung ang lalawigan kung saan nagaganap ang diskriminasyon ay walang anti-discrimination ordinance? How will you protect these Filipinos who just happen to be members of the LGBT community? Kaya po kinakailangan natin ng Soji Equality Bill eh. Alam nyo, ang malungkot, ito pang mga taong nagsasabing they follow the word of God. Sila ang unang-unang nagdi-discriminate at ginagamit pa ang pangalan ng Diyos. This I have to tell you. You give religion a bad name. A bad name. This is not how it is done. This is not how you, it's supposed to be done, you know. If you want to convert or proselytize for that matter, do you actually have to reject people for having a different sexual orientation, gender identity, expression? May I remind you, nice ko ko yung palalahanan, that more than, th than 2,000 years ago, there was a man who walked the streets of Jerusalem, of Galilee, of Nazareth, and he rubbed elbows with so-called sinners. He ate with them. He dined with them. He spoke to them. He ministered to them. And you know who I'm talking about? No less than Jesus Christ. Talo nyo pa si Jesus Christ. Mahiya kayo. I mean, wala ba kayong kasalanan that you have to cast the first stone? Mga holier than thou Pharisees. You give religion a bad name. Definitely. Wala kayong mercy or compassion in your hearts. And I don't want to judge you, but based on those actions. Kaya nananawagan po limuli ako. Kaya Governor Remulia. Mga kabiten nyo dyan kung nakikinig kayo. Papanood nyo to. Share nyo tong video na to. 
para malaman ni Governor Remulla, malaman ng Provincial Board of Cavite at magbigyan ng karampatang action itong pangyayari ito ng discrimination. Alam niyo, tinatanong ko sa aking sarili, SAS Rogando, Sasot, is a prominent figure and nakokall to attend na, nakokall ang ating attention dahil sikat siya pero what happens kaya dun sa mga ordinary Filipino Filipinos na na LGBT tapos na discriminate kinahamak ang kanilang pagkatao dahil LGBT sila pinagkakaita ng pagkakataong mag-aral gumamit ang public facilities magtrabaho dahil ibang ka ng sexual orientation and gender identity expression. What, we, what, what, what happens to these people? They just swallow. Nilulunok na lang nila yung mga cases of discrimination dahil walang attention, number one. Or if it happens sa isang lugar kung saan walang anti-discrimination ordinance, walang batas na magpo-protection sa kanila. Buti na lang nangyari ito sa Cavite kung saan mayroong anti-discrimination ordinance. Buti na lang dito sa aming lalawigan ng bataan merong anti-discrimination ordinance. But how about the other parts of the Philippines? Kaya mga kapatid, kung nanonood kayo, this is precisely the reason why pinaglalaban natin ang Soji Equality Bill. The Soji Equality Bill is not same-sex marriage. It is not an infringement of the right to practice your religion. Kasi nga, kung isa sa site ng mga Church of God ng kanilang freedom of religion, bakit? Tanong ko, pag hinayaan nyo ba si Ms. Sass magsalita dun sa graduation ceremony, that will stop you from practicing your, relig your religion? Ha? Huh? Bakit? Ano ba religion nyo? Religion of hate? Of discrimination? Kasi, to my knowledge, maraming pastor from your own religion, na sumusulat kami sa sa sinasabi at humingi ng patawad at dispensa dahil hindi naman yan ang official stand ng inyong religion. So, if it's not the official stand of your religion, it is simply your personal belief. It is simply your own prejudice and your bigotry. Pagpasensya nyo na po ako, kumaintang ulo ko. Hindi po ito nangyari sa akin. Nangyari po ito kay Ms. Sass, who is also a trans woman like myself. And I could feel her. You know, matapang lang yun si Ms. Sass eh. Matapang lang siya eh. Pero ni-interview ko, I could see the pain in her eyes. That pain that is shared by so many LGBT members who have to keep quiet. In the face of discrimination, because there are no laws, because discrimination has already been normalized among Filipinos. Parang normal lang na mga ng mga gay, ng mga lesbian. Normal lang na mga hamak sa kanila. But buti na lang itong mga estudyante ng Southern, Philippine, Southern Philippines Institute of Science and Technology. You give us hope. Nung tinaas niyo yung mga cellphones niyo na nag-iilaw para kay Ms. Hasdal, pinatayan siya ng ilaw, tinanggalan siya ng mikrofono. Literally, you are a ray of hope na ang mga future generations will have a different mindset. And they were shouting for respect. Dahil ito lang naman yun talaga eh. Respeto sa kapwa-tao. Kaya kayo, mga sinasabi niyong at kinoconsider niyong Christian kayo. I want to tell you, I don't think you are more Christian or you're more holy by discriminating against fellow Filipinos. And I don't think that banning Ms. Sass is in the practice of your religion. Where does it say in your belief system that you have to exclude a human being simply because that person happens to be transgender? If that is not the official stand of your religion, wala tayo magagawa. It's just a personal belief. And that is not covered by this constitutional right, the freedom of religion. So mga friends, asensya na po. Medyo na-touch po ako. 
talaga ang sama ng gising ko kanina eh. 